My name is Joy D. Fanning, an astronaut of life, and I help people go inward to explore. This video is part of a series called Meditation Stories, where you might hear me share some of my own stories, but the main part is to share other people's experiences because there are so many ways to meditate and so many things that come to us when we meditate. So without further ado, here's the video. Wonderful. Thank you so much for joining me today. Got my trailblazers thing. Got my tapestry. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I want to get one for myself, but I don't know where I'd put it, to be honest. <laughs> but yeah, it takes it's beautiful. Water. I love yeah, it. Yeah, especially with the light. Yeah, it's very bright. Diana, can you tell me a little bit about yourself and trailblazers of the universe? Yeah. So my name is Diana and um, my channel is trailblazers of the universe. So basically, um, my little slogan is I basically help people like break through their barriers and transcend their limitations so they can live their best, most authentic life, like fearlessly. Um, so I just started this channel about a couple months ago. I started a few years ago, but I just started uploading videos a couple months ago. Um, so I have like about 10 videos and maybe more. Um, so my main topics so far are like um, improving like mental health, um, spirituality, a lot of like inspirational videos, relationships. I'm going to get into manifestation next. Um, so you'll see I have different playlists. So a little bit of everything. Um, I'm into everything. So um, I'll, they'll be adding, I'll be adding more topics too. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, I've seen your videos and they're amazing and you do a wonderful job and I really like them and everybody should watch them. And your link will be below for sure. Yes. So one thing, obviously, we're here to talk about meditation. So can you tell us how you got started meditating? I'd say about 2017, you know, I consider myself, I was always a spiritual person. I was like connected to my spirit. You know, I think I watched like a secret whack in when I was at like college or something. But, you know, I was learning law of attraction. But I never got too into it. I had some kind of connection to all the spirituality stuff. But um, 2017, um, you know, I had some mental health issues, like addiction issues, stuff like that. So I kind of was, you know, I found out Aaron Dowdy, uh, he's a famous YouTuber, and um, he had some meditations. He has very good meditations, but I would highly recommend his. And I don't know how I came across it, synchronicity, whatever, um, but I started coming. So I started to do those, and his are very powerful. So those are very good ones to start off with. But basically, you know, I had my, my anxiety was probably pretty bad. Um, at that point, you know, I had a job that was stressful. You know, I went to college, everything. I was trying to live the American dream, one in the matrix, right? <laughs> and so I, you know, I took on like a little bit of a stressful job. I was trying to make money. I was going to chase the money, that kind of lifestyle. And, um, you know, the substances kind of went with it. And then my mental health kind of went down, I was just really stressed out. I always had a lot of energy, but I didn't really know what to do with it. And, and now I'm seeing, I just need a creative outlet for it. But, you know, I was told I was bipolar, mania, anxiety, depression some of them thought I'd ADHD so I tried all these different medications and it just it just wasn't there's was something missing always so when I first started doing the meditations I was the kind of person that's like hyper I could barely sit still I, I couldn't even like sit and focus and be present at all whatsoever so that was really hard so it, it took a while you know probably until now well maybe starting as of a year ago I could start to get present with the meditation, actually sit there and not have the thoughts race. Like I, I couldn't even sit still for 10 minutes and do meditation at first, but I, with practice, this is years and years, but also I had to, you know, um, clean myself up a little bit with everything. And, you know, now, um, being off medication, you know, I, um, I think, you know, I'm able to be more present. I feel like I had some kind of like, it was a download or something, like I need to stop taking my meds. I'm not recommend anybody to do that, but I had a feeling that I wasn't able to connect as much on my spirit because that stuff was all blocking everything. And honestly, I feel a lot better now. Um, and I still do meditate, but why I meditate now isn't before it was just not have anxiety, right? Now I feel pretty present most of the time. It's more now to connect with my spirit, maybe get inspiration for videos or work on my chakras or like it's like a higher purpose now when I meditate. Yeah, I got into it for anxiety as well. And same thing, it just kind of transformed to, instead of becoming a positive coping mechanism, it turned into connecting with spirit. So, yeah. so what, when the time when it was hard to like meditate, what made you want to keep doing it? 
Were you getting benefits from it during that time? I was getting, so at first I was getting some clarity, even if it wasn't for long, I did feel some kind of peacefulness and my thoughts did stop for a little bit. So I was getting it and Aaron Dowdy has very good meditation. So his are very powerful. So I did feel like a connection with my spirit. I was like, I just had a feeling I'm supposed to go in this direction. I wasn't really sure what, but it did. But the more you practice it, um, you know, I had a time where just to get rid of my anxiety, um, even with medication, I had to do multiple med- meditations like a day, like just to keep And even on my lunch break at work, I would go in my car, do a 10 minute minutes, but I was working a very stressful job too. So it's in order to keep that job going. And I was also trying to find another way to live a more clean life, you know, cause I struggle with, you know, substances and everything. Um, so I try to use that to relieve some of those, like those bad symptoms and everything. So it was a lot of, it was a long journey with that, mm. but I like it now. I don't do it because of necessity, like, oh, I need to do it to feel better. Just like, I actually enjoy doing it. I like to connect. I like to turn off. I still watch Netflix and stuff, but I actually like, you know, sometimes before I go to sleep, I turn off TV. I was like, oh, what meditation am I going to do now? Like, I actually look forward to it. And I feel like I get more inspiration and clarity on like, even the videos I do and stuff when I meditate. Yeah. It's crazy how the same practice is the same, but the way you use it and what it means can totally transform and change, right? Can you tell me about an experience you've had with meditation, like either in it or the result of a meditation that really changed you or helped you? Ooh, that's a lot. Um, (laughs) Now, the one that's pretty cool, you know, since I like substances and stuff, I kind of like meditations that kind of take me out of this world, right? So I started, so Dr. Joe Dispenza has one. It's called entering the quantum field. It's like 45 minutes long. That one, I do it every once in a while. I don't know, just something about, you know, he's a doctor too. So he's all about like the brain and heart coherence and everything. But it just takes you like, I literally felt like I was in a different unit. Like, I feel like I was really in the quantum. I know it's like nothing, but it's, I, I can't describe it. So to describe, but um, his meditations, I really felt like a powerful one. I felt my heart in my, in my head and just like, out the, I can't even put it into words. It's so, um, but it's called like a deep trance. Oh, like, God. and then even some of the, I do sometimes certain times of hypnotherapy too. There's one lady, um, she's called the AMSR psychologist. I don't know if you know who she is, but um, she does very good meditation. Now that's more hypnotherapy, but it's still a form of meditation. And those like, they're pretty good. They're pretty, um, they, I, I don't know. So some of them you just have to do it for yourself because everyone has a different experience. Some of them are just so like profound and so powerful that I can't even put it into words or it's almost like I black, it's almost like I don't remember it sometimes. I just come out of it like, where was I? It's like I went somewhere else, you know? Yeah. Sometimes if I don't write down what happens after a meditation, it's like a dream and it kind of just fades. And I'm like, I know I did something so cool. <laughs> but yeah. I don't remember what it was. Yeah. But I feel good after I feel more relaxed. Usually it's the, the results are more clarity. And I just I feel like I connect to really with my spirit and you know, sometimes there's different like entities present and stuff. You know, I don't always get the vision, but um well sometimes, you know, I, I like more guided meditations, you know, where they take you on more of a journey. But you have to be in the right mental state. Sometimes if you're not open to it, if you're not, if your mind's racy too much, you have to get more present and that's why breath work is another form of meditation I do I do the Wim Hof breath work that helps a lot too when I have anxiety how long have you been doing the Wim Hof meditations probably kind of recently actually um probably the past like six months he was like the ice man he he when he goes in like the freezing cold the arctic I don't know and he says about taking cold showers I try doing that I, I'm still of a more of a hot shower person but that's supposed to have profound effects and everything but it really does help with your anxiety when I get panic attacks I, mean, I still get some anxiety you know but it's nowhere near it used to be but I do that automatically it like you know calms your nervous system down it's only 10 minutes too yeah. oh that's nice yeah Wim Hof do it for sure <laughs> Okay. I will have to do that. Yeah. I have a friend that does the cold, cold water thing, but they say it really helps them. Um, but I'm like you, I still enjoy. It's the winter now over here where I'm in the U S so like, I don't know. Right. I, I actually did try a couple times. It did make, I take a hot then I turn it cold and I'm like, Oh my God, it's freezing right now. It's kind of cold, but, um, but I want to try it. My brother actually does it. Not even trying to fall Wim Hof. He just says he does it. So he said, I guess says something. So I'm, I'm going to try it for, research purposes. <laughs> yeah, meditation, breath work, all that helps with mental health. 
when you started meditating, was that the around the same time you stopped your medications or did meditation start and then eventually way before um because you know i i figured you know before you know you know you go to a doctor and they're like oh you're bipolar i mean i was like but I also was using certain substances and i had a stressful job you know there's a lot of situational things going on so i need the substances i had to get that was a big thing you know the ones i were using were not it was it was really bad so I had to get rid of that first. And then I got, then I took care of the mental health. And I was like, okay, do I really have a problem or is it just that? I realized a lot of it was that. And now, um, you know, but I got, went to get help and everything. And then I slowly started to get off my medications. I kind of did it on my own. The doctors didn't want me to go off it, but I feel great being off. Um, but I meditate, but I have a lot of better coping mechanisms now and self-care and coping. You know, I didn't have the, my coping mechanisms were horrible. I didn't, you know, they don't teach it in school. They don't teach you how to deal with your emotions. You know, they don't teach you, you know, any coping mechanisms. So it's kind of people learn it by themselves, but I don't recommend doing, you know, going off that like I did, but I just knew it was time. Like I, I really didn't feel like I, you know, I just kind of, you know, I like, I weaned off the stuff, but I, I feel more present. I feel better than ever. Honestly, I feel less anxious being off medication actually, <laughs> and incorporating meditation and breath work and working out helps a lot. That's, well, that's kind of off topic, but that's, that, that helps me a lot too. So what does your practice look like now? Like, I know you said meditation now is not less, it's less for anxiety than more for connecting, right? Yeah, I still do when I get anxiety, but the anxiety is not that bad. But you know what? You know, I learn, create a life that you don't have to escape from, you know, like, so I have a job now that's way less stressful. It was a little bit less money in my last year, but it's so much less stressful. And I actually have time to work on the YouTube channel, like, finding my life purpose, finding something, a hobby. I had no hobbies too. So I'm just sitting there going on if I have job in the matrix, whatever. And then I have bad coping mechanisms. I have substance that, you know, my, my whole lifestyle is just not, you know, so I picked a job that's less stressful. I found something I'm passionate about. I just kind of use all that energy for this. And the meditation goes really well with the YouTube. So it all kind of just fits that lifestyle just fits together way more than, and you know, I do a lot of cardio and stuff like that. So it just all fits together better. That's what I'm yeah. supposed to be. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's to me how your life transforms. You make one small change, right? Like, oh, I'm going to try to meditate, even though I can't sit here very well. I'm going to try because I know I need better coping skills and blah, 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 right? Yeah. And you do it and your attitude's pretty crappy, but you do it anyway. And you're making like these small steps and then boom, <laughs> years later, here you are better job less stress no pills yeah. right everything's yeah. different because of those small changes so i find that so inspiring diana wow and even with the meditation you know to start off even start off doing a five minute meditation two minutes you know and the big thing is another meditation it meditation doesn't always have to be listen i like guided meditations but it could just be sitting in presence we're so addicted to our phones, TVs. I have time sometimes I just turn everything off because I, I can feel when I'm getting too, I'm very aware of like my body now. I'm like, I can, so sometimes I like, I got to turn off all the screens, turn off the light, just like, even if you're just sitting in silence and like observing your thoughts, that's a form of meditation too. Sometimes I force myself, if I'm seeing I'm getting too stimulated by everything, I just do that. And even a few minutes of that can make a profound difference. You're literally rewiring your brain when you do this kind of stuff, you know? Oh, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. And you can see the difference Yeah, over time. And then you're like, wait a minute. I used to like beat myself up in my head and tell myself how stupid I was and all these other things. And now the crickets, I don't hear that at all. It's all like, go me. I'm awesome. I can do And this. you realize that the thoughts aren't yours. Like all the thoughts you have are programmed since we were younger, right? So you have from when you're at school, from the news, from everything, like all that stuff is like programming. So when you sit there and observe your thoughts and you actually just watch them, you're like, you can tell that, I man, that thought's like, sounds like something my parents would say or the relationship I was in or like school, you know, a lot of times it's not ours. You know, we get so consumed by our thoughts. So that's why I think meditation is important because you actually get to sit there and observe and you just sit there and you're actually present. You're like, hey, this isn't, I'm letting this tear me apart. But this isn't even mine. I don't really even believe this anymore. It's kind of like outdated, you know? Now I want to ask you, Okay, I'm switching gears a little bit. Yeah. So we had our reading and yeah. I did that reading for you. Thank you so much for Thank supporting you. me that way. Yeah. And I, I feel like I gave you a lot of rabbit holes to go down, right? Yeah. So like, what's your method, method, I can't say that word, methodology, method, method, no. What's your, 
I think I do this every episode. There's some word I can't say. That's okay. That's like my part of me. What's your method for like, I guess, researching spiritual things? Like, like I said, I gave you a bunch of rabbit holes to go down. How are you going to go about it? I guess is what I want to know, because I know for me, it's all like, well, that's cool. This is cool. That's cool. I want to learn it all. And it's really hard for me to like, focus like okay no today we're gonna like do starseed stuff or no this for chakra now we're learning about chakras like how do you organize that so it is a lot and i did as soon as i saw your reading i started looking at books on on Pleiadians, the galactic federation i was looking at some of my chakras past i I was already doing and the auras because i was interested in that too chakras i've already been into all that so i kind of already know like that but um Honestly, I kind of just go with, I get the random, it's when you have the inspiration. What, what do you have? I get a random thought. I don't know if that's a download or what, but, um, you know, just what feels, you know, there's some things that I was really like stunned on. Those things are more very are interesting, but also I think what the, anything with the star seeds, the galactic federation, that's some crazy stuff. So I, they want to connect with me. I definitely want to know. Well, I, I think that's probably, I, I, I feel like almost like that's like the FBI or something like the, the galactic like FBI, like and they're all like, oh, but in a good way, obviously there's a purpose and with the Pleiadians and Arcturian. So I've always felt some kind of connection to them. I don't know as much about that. You know, I have some, I've always had some kind of weird interest in them and I know I couldn't put my finger. I knew, I thought I had some kind of connection to them. So that's probably the first thing, the past lives. I got to sit on that one. That's a lot of different past lives, but, um, so, and the chakras are interesting because now I'm taking your advice on which chakras to work on, which I do have noticed those uh, certain blocks and the ones that were starting. So everything you said was pretty much spot on. And I thought, and your visions are very interesting. So I, I've been thinking a lot about it. So um, just kind of as I go on the day, whatever comes up, so certain things feel more urgent than other things, you know, the past lives. I mean, you have so many past lives. We don't know what it means. There's so... So, I mean, I'm still keeping that in consideration, and I do notice certain patterns that, like, relation, but probably more the Star Seed Galactic Federation, because, I mean, that's related to my purpose and probably what I'm doing now with the YouTube channel. So, that's probably my first plan of attack, or not attack, but research. <laughs> yeah, space came in, yeah, very strongly, and then, yeah, those galactic people just were right there ready to <laughs> share. You're probably listening to us right now. <laughs> I'm ready. What do you want me to do? I'm ready. <laughs> but I love your answer because to me, that's eventually the solution I ended up coming with myself. Just you letting your intuition guide you on which rabbit hole. I have the tarot cards too. I have um the this this set I got when I went to the crystal store. It's a Kashuk Records, right? It's a Kashuk Records tarot card. It's really cool. And I saw it right away. I was like drawn to it. And that woman kind of looks like on the front, the woman that you said with the blonde hair like the hip oh my goodness okay but yeah we'll talk about that later <laughs> there's another rabbit hole to go time well, yeah, i'll show you this well i don't know if you can see her but that's like a blonde yeah i don't know if you can see all there but anyway it looked pretty cool it's, i'm into the akashic wreck i'm really interested in that so I, I do the tarot cards there. I was never really into it, but I felt the calling to do something and I, I put the intentions to connect with my spirit card, or whatever. And I picked the card for it. So I'm just kind of learning that, but I do, they're true, man. The ones I picked, they're like, it's creepy, but yeah, it's cool. Yeah. It's almost a little creepy. And I like how you said how I'm jumping all around here today, but That's like in, medi- in, me- <laughs> in meditation, how you like, I saw cool stuff and I just don't have words for it. Cause I've had, meditations like that too especially like with god or source i don't really have words to describe what i experienced or saw it's like well that's what happened (laughs) it was amazing but yeah like there's so many ways to connect meditation is just one method i love the tarot cards and letting your intuition guide you to them and then yeah it can almost yeah and the crystals yeah how the purple came in for your reading and that's like the crystals you have a lot of right yeah Um, me doing these readings I'm learning how how the crystals even like change the energy in my room 
when I use them with intention and yeah like I don't know it's me they're just pretty purple rocks but really they're more than that and that's what came to you so that was so cool yeah that's literally like I said I was buying a lot of the rocks I had my nails on purple I just recently I literally just decided like two weeks ago I was like I think my favorite color is purple now and then you said the aura was purple and um the rocks and it just yeah it's very interesting how people can connect like that i'll be honest i didn't trust a lot of people before that but i definitely trust your you know i didn't tell you any of this stuff about me some of the stuff you told me yeah i've never said anything like that to you so it's very yeah and i don't like and that's not like i went researching you or anything oh i know you because i'm like i I want to be surprised too like because it's cool for me to be like i don't know what purple means I yeah. know what it means to me, but I don't know what it means to, for you. And like I said, it came in so strong and then it has such a meaning. And for you, it's pretty cool how it works that way. Just yeah. how energy in general works. And I feel like when we meditate, for me, it's a great way to connect to energy and to sense energy because you're quieting yeah. everything down and you can begin to sense it. And even when you're starting, that you're putting in that work and literally like teaching your body how to sense energy and your intuition too I yeah we'll have to do another video down the line like after you like connected to the galactic federation and they like give you all these messages oh yeah i'm ready i'm i'm waiting for i'm waiting to have like a dream i'm waiting for like an entity to come i I don't know what to expect but i'm I'm not trying to put expectation on it because that can kind of ruin it so I'm just kind of just do what I normally do, let it come to, I think you don't know when it's, or sometimes it's a sign. It's not always a vision. Sometimes you just have like a sign or maybe not your voice, your hand, but you have like an urge to do something or like, and um. so I've had that kind of stuff. I wonder if they maybe tried before. I mean, I didn't understand, but now I know that they're trying. Yeah. So that's my number one. Cause that means there's a purpose. That's, that's like a big purpose that I need to figure out, which I think I'm kind of working towards now anyway, but I get more clarity on yeah yeah i get the sense you're on the right track you're just chugging along doing the thing you need to be doing whatever rabbit hole your intuition tells you to go down i i'm like behind you being like yes do it i'm on a lot of rabbit hole i'm in so many already and now your reading just put me down a whole nother like i put notes next I was reading this when I was at work. Wow. I don't want to be at work. So I'm at work in the Matrix and I'm trying to look at the Galactic Federation. I was like, man, I'm working on this job in the Matrix. I have a purpose of the Galactic Federation. <laughs> and uh, Pleiadians or Arcturians or whatever. I was like, what am I doing? <laughs> it was really trippy. Yeah, it was weird. Yeah. I'm all for the trippy. I like oh, it. I love it. I like it. But it was just kind of like the whole reading. I, I spent a lot of time researching it yesterday and wrapping my mind there's a lot there but yeah um it's all good stuff i, I definitely connect i felt like connected to everything you said and there's some truth to it so definitely recommend and be coming back for a reading for sure 100 percent. thank you yeah i appreciate that i want because i don't know what everything i pick up means so that's why i just write it down and not only like transcribing it it, it kind of reminds mm-hmm. me of uh on insidious like not just trying to say you have balance but the lady on insidious how like she puts the head thing on and starts writing down. i know you're not with like evil entities but that's what it kind of reminds me of what you said you're you're doing so i think it, it's very cool um i've never actually seen the process of someone that actually like does that and that i believe is you know it's like real you know and i saw that crystal setup you did that was pretty cool that you knew to put that in that crystal grid i'm trying to get interested in the crystal grids too but i don't even know where to begin because i'm just trying to learn the crystals now right um but i'm getting there we're getting there (laughs) yeah me too it's my intuition i i had someone show me and teach me about the crystal grids but like how to use them and they were like just make it your own so when i meditate now i always use a crystal grid and it really helps i'm excited for you for when you get one and start using it because it'll probably probably change the energy when you meditate is my guess yeah i'm gonna get one probably tomorrow yeah tonight or tomorrow yeah i think it's time yeah well i was looking i didn't even know which one to get but you're i'm just going with my intuition because if i take other people's advice then it's not that's what's for them i know i have the intuition if i'm really part of the galactic race or whatever i should be able to have intuition on it i got my 
my amethyst necklace. <laughs> say, I've seen your crown chakra. You're getting the messages. Oh, yeah. for sure. Yeah. yeah. Don't worry about that. Yeah, it's all right there. That's what I, yeah. Go with it, girl. Oh, this was awesome. Thank you so much for, for yeah, sharing and, and yeah. talking with me. And just to give you one more, I just want to let you plug your channel again and tell us a little bit about that before we end. So, yeah, so again, um, if you didn't get it right, it's Trailblazers of the Universe. And there's also, I have a Facebook group and an Instagram for that as well. You'll see the links on my channel. I'm sure she'll put a link or something on on it so i'm basically helping you fearlessly and unapologetically live your best most authentic life break through your barriers and transcend your limitations a lot of it's like manifestation spirituality inspirational videos mental health there'll be more topics relationships a little bit of everything so help you become your best version and talk about fun stuff i like to go down the rabbit hole i'm gonna have a lot of videos like that especially when i get more into some of this stuff on the reading so yep awesome yes I love your videos, Diana, and I'm so excited to be on this journey with you, yeah. this YouTube journey and spiritual journey and the whole shebang. Thank yep. you so much again for, for joining yep. me today. All right. Have a good one. You too.